What is this brass periscopic item possibly dating from World War II British Army? but I'm not sure about its function. About 12 centimeters long when fully extended, it has a mirror inside that acts like a little periscope, maybe for looking into something, it's not very heavy or big. It also has a chain and fastener. Any ideas? It's a World War I issue British folding bore scope with a cover for an Enfield rifle. Inside the scope is a small mirror placed at a 45 degree angle. Sliding the cover off and unfolding the handle allows the scope to be inserted into the breech of the rifle, making it possible to examine the bore without having to remove the barrel from the firearm. This device was used towards the end of the 19th century and throughout the 20th century. What is this thing I saw at a local auction labeled as a mystery tool? It looks like it's got two cranks and maybe a turntable. There are some words on the base, but I didn't get a better photo of it. I was told that this was owned by an old local tinsmith in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Any ideas? It's a double seamer machine, an old mechanical sealing machine used for closing cans, patented by L.T. Hulbert of Painesville, Ohio on January 3, 1860. According to the Directory of American Tool and Machinery Patents website, the patent number is not known to be produced, so there were probably very few of these made. A double seam is a hermetic seal formed by interlocking edges of both the end component and body of a can. In the most basic sense, a proper double seam maintains the quality and prolongs the shelf life of a can good. What is this old cast iron tool stamp TC for Boston? It looks like two backward axe heads connected like scissors. Except it's cast steel, not cast iron. It was found by a friend somewhere in Alaska. Any ideas? It's a combination ice tool with an ice pick and a hatchet. I found the patent, although it has a different handle than your model but pretty much the same on the head part. This was patented on May 8, 1883, not in Boston, but in Norfolk, Massachusetts. What is this thing about 6 inches in diameter, with a wooden bottom and a compass in the middle? I bought it at an antique store in Kamakura, Japan. I just thought it was interesting. I'm guessing it's some sort of astrological device. Any ideas are appreciated. It's called a lopen, it's a Chinese magnetic compass also known as a feng shui compass from 1880 to 1920. It is used by a feng shui practitioner to determine the precise direction of a structure place or item. Does anyone know what this tool is? I found it at my great-grandmother's farm in her desk drawers. It looks like feeler gauges for valve adjustment, but why would the V-shaped edges be so sharp? Any info about what this might be would be helpful. It's a 19th century bloodletting flame. Bloodletting was started 3,000 years ago in Egypt. They did it all through medieval times, and then it went into the early 19th century. They believed it could cure many illnesses. The doctor would use these razor-sharp tools to cut people and empty some of their blood out, because they believed it was bad blood. By the time this flame was made, Bloodletting as a cure-all to balance a person's humors was starting to fall out of fashion, possibly because it kept killing everyone it was done to. It was a very old-school medical practice. Even the barbers would do it. What is this heavy solid gold-colored stick, about 2 feet in length? It came with a fireplace tool set we got about 8 years ago. It's heavy and unscrews at both ends. Under the unscrewed parts are bolts that we haven't tried to get off yet. The tool set also came with the standard items, such as an ash shovel, traditional poker, brush, small fire fork, and a pair of log clamps. This is the only thing we haven't been able to identify. What could this be? It's a fireplace igniter from about 1948. It was designed for lighting fireplaces, stoves furnaces, or a whole group cigarettes at once. You put the fluid in the tube by removing the screw on one end. The other end has a nipple for the flint and the wick. You pump the handle, and the rough grooves under the flint spark the wick. I have had this thing for years, but nobody knows what it is. It's about 3.5 inches high silver plated and thin material it is shaped like a crown but it would not be functional as a bookmark it could be a coat hook for a wardrobe but i still cannot figure out how this would work does anybody know what this thing is 
It's a casserole spoon rest from around the 1960s. They're made to sit on the edge of a serving dish or casserole. And you rest a serving spoon or two in the holder part. It allows you to keep the spoon in the dish without sliding down into the food. What is this metallic pencil with a hard wick and a battery inside? It's quite heavy and is about 14.5 centimeters long, or 5.7 inches, and the wick looks like made of stone. The words Orlam France are engraved on it, and the words Lightning and Toys are written on the battery in French. There seems to be a small motor inside, but no on and off switch. It could be an electric eraser as it seems the wick can spin. Any ideas? It's an electric nail file from the 60s, a tool used to gently grind down and shape the edges of nails in a faster and more precise way. What is this weird large barrel looking thing hanging on a wire at the local park? The wire is probably 15 to 18 feet off the ground, and the barrel is quite large. The wire attaches to these two telephone poles that are just standing alone. There's no other wires or anything coming off of them, so they appear to only exist to hold up this barrel. I can't for the life of me imagine what purpose this thing could serve. Any ideas? It's for a fire hose competition. They move the barrel back and forth with fire hoses. My area has a cadet program and they do these each year. The idea is to push the barrel to the goal being defended by the opposing team. Here's a photo of one in action. And here's a photo of one team backed all the way up and about to lose. My co-worker collects mystery objects and can identify them. This one is some kind of a tool that tightens onto another object, but what kind of object? Any suggestions? It's a spark tester for a small engine. Made in Milwaukee, Wisconsin by Briggs & Stratton in the 1980s. I had similar models when I worked on them. Here is a similar picture. This part has been replaced by a modern version, and of course without the wood. What is this thing I found buried in the back of a pharmacy warehouse, sealed with some sort of polyester, probably 100 plus years old, it's adjustable, and the inner diameter is only about 1.25 inches, I'm just wondering specifically what this little thing was used for, please let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.